Hello and welcome to the Side One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and in this video, uh, the InMove i2 head or the version 2 head this is part 9 so in the last video i discovered as i went to put the face mask on and i've got it off at the moment the um there are a couple of little problems i had with the face the first one was these eyebrows are set back a significant amount compared to what's needed to make contact with the skin uh, subsequent to that I had a look back on the InMove site and discovered I have a version 1 eyebrow and there's now a version 3 and you can see they are significantly different mostly in depth I also discovered that there was a version 3 cheek puller so this is the original cheek puller and this is the new one so there is a difference in the cheek puller i also discovered that these two side cheek pieces which is attached to the um, gear holder which is this major section here are uh, also these two pieces have also been upgraded so I've printed out all of those parts and because I plastic welded essentially the um, two side pieces onto the or cheek holders onto the gear holder I've basically had to reprint that I've also printed off a set of new uh, jaw mounts and I've actually welded those in this time and I've already inserted in the nut certs you might be able to see them installed in different places ready to assemble i have to clean that one up a bit as i go so before i can put that on i obviously have to pull the old one apart so let's start okay so on this part one of the things i've been contemplating is drilling a 10 millimeter hole down through here so that i can bring these servos up through that hole and keep all the wires tidy from that point depending on how i go I'll, and if i remember at the right time i will redo that I want to look at a different way of running these wires for the servos that operate the eyeball. The two for the eyelid up the top are fine, but uh, running up through the other side probably takes a little more wire and there's not a great deal. So I'm just exploring other places where I can run them. I'm just going to put the base out of the way for the moment. Okay, so that's the old bits pulled out. That's the new one. Now, this one was printed in any Cubix Tough uh, flexible resin. When very thin, it flexes quite well. Uh, and does imp resist impacts very well this time this one's printed in all uh, ABS like resin so we'll see how that goes all right so let's put that aside because it's going to be discarded and we can start rebuilding this so this goes up from underneath 
One of the things I did notice about this um, ABS-like resin is it is more brittle than the Tough Flexible. So this Tough Flexible doesn't appear to be brittle at all. Uh, when printed thick, like these parts are, they are reasonably solid. They can, however, distort under pressure over time. And I've discovered that on some of the arm parts. But let's see how we go. Need more hands. Yes, it's a lot more brittle. I just broke it. I think I can recover this. If I use the screws to hold the top in place and a clamp across there with some resin painted on, I think I can recover this. So let's proceed. Just made this job significantly more difficult. So if you do come across a setback like this, it's not always um, a total disaster. Sometimes you can recover. My fractures down there. Okay, so this is just an ordinary small paintbrush. I can get it out. And I'm going to use that to dip in the resin, which I've done before to uh, secure these uh, nut certs in. Get them in the right light, you can just see those nut certs in there. And they're held in by the resin being coated on it as I push it in and then set with a UV light. Because my UV uh, cure station isn't big enough for, to hold all of this, I do have a UV floodlight. And I did do a review on that a while back. Now I should be wearing gloves. So we paint this all through where the crack is. Make sure I've got it on the bottom as well. Well, I might just get rid of this first. Give myself some more room. I have to before I bring the floodlight in anyway. That looks good. Now, whatever you do with these UV floodlights, don't look into them. Uh, they will cause the equivalent to arc blindness. So anyone who's done a lot of welding will be familiar with... Uh, the feeling of arc blindness and I'll let this cure for around 10 minutes don't forget when you're cooking make sure you cook both sides Okay, that'll do. It's all dry now. Okay, so that was definitely an inconvenience. Now I need my servo tester. I might not need my servo tester if I don't remove this from or servo horn 
from the servo I won't need to recalibrate I just need to pull these screws out that's a much better fit when I printed these I printed these flat on the base of the resin printer and when you do that the resin printer does have a significant amount of elephant's foot you just see it in some of those images camera would focus but more importantly it's filled in the bottom of the holes so I've just got to drill those out And I put that on upside down. Potentially I could tighten that up further, but I'm worried about turning the, taking the head off. I've done that before. Now I'll have to find another screw for that one. But I think I'll stop at this point and continue on in the next video. I also want to pull this eye apart and install this. So this arrived in the mail. This is a camera. Oh, it's got a little cover over the lens. So I want to install that uh, on the uh, top skull support. So this must screw up from underneath. Unless it's for this one. I'll work it out anyway on the next video when I install it into the uh, the head or into the eye. So to uh, see when that video comes out, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account, and you can join my patrons, VIP Go Lucky. All Access Jeff Jurd and my builder patrons Al Morales 45, Andrew Cardone and Havish in supporting the channel. If you've got any questions come and join us in Discord or leave a comment below. I'll leave a link in the description for the official InMove Discord, my Discord and the My Robot Lab Discord. And we'll see you in the next video.